Hi, welcome to Ms. Richardson's U.S. History 5-Minute Lectures. This information will be U.S. Notes 1.19, Progressive Era Constitutional Amendments. It includes information that's aligned with your, the third section of your study guide. Remember, you control this lecture. Pause if you need to, write down your questions, and rewatch if you need to. And always use your study guide to take these notes. Let's go ahead and get started. I've already mentioned that the amend there were many amendments passed during the Progressive Era, but we want to make sure that you're clear on which is which and what impact each had. There are three particular ones we're going to look at. First, we want to look at Amendment 17, which created the direct election of senators. This changed how senators were elected to the U.S. Senate. Voters have always chosen a state legislature, generally a House of Representatives and a state Senate. Prior to the Progressive Era, those groups would then choose the two U.S. Senators from that state. This was written into the U.S. Constitution. As time went on and corruption and greed became more prevalent, this needed to change. Under Amendment 17, the voters elect the U.S. Senators. The voters choose the two Senators who go to Washington, D.C., not the state legislator choosing. This took power back from the local governments and put it in the hands of the voters. Amendment 18, Prohibition, was passed in 1918. This amendment was promoted as a way to fix many of the problems in society. Temperance supporters believed that outlawing alcohol would eliminate domestic abuse, problems at work, and poverty, just to name a few things. However, this was not enough to get the amendment passed. What did finally get the amendment passed? World War I. During World War I, conserving food to support the troops was very popular. One of the main food staples, wheat, was used to make alcohol. The argument became that drinking was actually taking food away from the soldiers on the front lines. Therefore, it became unpatriotic to not support the prohibition of alcohol, leading to the passage of the 18th Amendment. As you may know, this was very unsuccessful. It led to a rise in organized crime and illegal activities, eventually causing the repeal of the amendment. It is the only amendment ever repealed or taken away in our Constitution. And finally, our third amendment we want, we want to look at today is the 19th Amendment that was passed in 1920. This amendment, which had been supported by various groups for over 100 years, gave women the right to vote. While you may know the names of early suffragists like Susan B. Anthony, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, and Carrie Chapman Catt, this amendment was pushed through by a determined group of younger women headed by Alice Paul. This group was willing to pu push for their rights and at times were attacked, arrested, and abused in the pursuit of their right. While many men and women did not believe suffrage was needed, once word of the abuse of these suffragists, these suffragists suffered was released, the amendment was passed. All of these amendments show changes in America during the Progressive Era. You can see that people of the time were trying to fix the issues that existed that they saw as problems. Some, like the suffrage in elections, were very successful. Others, like prohibition, just led to more problems. While not every attempt resulted in a success, each was one step closer to a better, more fair society. So this is the end of U.S. Notes 1.19. Hopefully you learned something from the five-minute lecture, and I will see you in class with any questions you have.